Okay, so this is the Defiler class, which is a pretty good class. I think I've got a trait for him, so I'm just going to remove that so you can see his actual health is. Again, I've ranked him up, I think, three times, so it'll be the health will be a bit lower than this. His damage isn't all that good, but mainly because he's a support class. His health is pretty good, considering he's a support class and a healer type class. Power is pretty good. It's, uh, well, I say it's pretty good, it's like one of the best. Armor, not so bad, considering it's a support class, like I say. Avoidance could be better, and resistance, more better than average. So here's the other stats, if you really want to look at them. Okay, so let's go over to the skills. Now he's got quite a few buff skills. He's got a, a healing one, which does a 30 meters range. It heals between 226 to 323 morale instantly. And then over time, it does the same, but for every 3 seconds, for, fif for th 15 seconds. And that costs 83, da 83 power. Cooldown of 6 seconds. Then we've got another healing one. Which does 500, 552 to 783 morale instantly. And heals between 226 to 323 every 5 seconds for 30 seconds. And you can apply both of these at the same time. Well, one after the other anyway. Um, it costs 83 power and a cooldown of 4 seconds. Induction of 2 seconds. This one's instantly. So this is a resurrecting type skill. It's at 30 meters. You select a dead ally. And in five seconds he'll be resurrected with 55, with 50% um, health and 50% power. It costs you 750 health yourself and four, 450 power. However, it costs you health, but you can heal yourself, so that's not too bad. Cooldown damage of one minute, which isn't too bad considering it's a resurrecting type skill. March again does. 25% increases 25% out of combat running speed un unable to evade, parry or block um, induction of 0.5 seconds so you see some debuffering I'm not going to talk about the curse of the coward soul because that's a bought skill or a rank skill rather you need to be certain rank to get it the curse of the sticky feet this is a ranged debuffering skill at 30 meters range it um, makes your target slower by 10%, duration is 10 seconds, and costs 73, pow 73 power, cooldown of 15 seconds. He has one melee skill at the moment, which is Headbreaker, does 307 acid damage approximately, and also does between um, 119 to 170 acid damage every 3 seconds for, thir for 12 seconds. Cost 113 power, cooldown of 3 seconds. His range skills are 30 meters, 30 meters each, and this one does 446 fire damage, but also does between 108 to 155 fire damage every 2 seconds for 10 seconds. That'll cost you 113 power and cooldown of 6 seconds. Does the there's a plague attack which does 410 shadow damage and cost 113 power also if you get a critical hit or a devastating critical it'll do minus 1500 evasion rating and minus 1500 parry rating and minus 1500 block rating to your target which is pretty good um, duration of 20 seconds for that cooldown of 8 seconds here are his passive, besides the bottom, here are his passive uh, skills, which are just these skills. But um, but yeah, he's, he's a pretty uh, pretty fun, fun class. I really enjoyed him, and I still enjoy him. Um, but yeah, he's mainly a support class, but it's like, say if you're getting hit, you can just run away and start healing yourself pretty quickly. This has got a quite good cooldown cooldown and rating so you can keep applying that to yourself 
gotta apply this to yourself as well. But yeah, he's got um he's quite a good support class. Highly recommend him. Um but like I say, he is definitely a support class. You couldn't really solo with this guy unless you started getting his rank ups quite a bit, so he has quite a lot of health and and um, can heal himself quite a bit. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the defiler. <laughs>